Hello, I'm Tom from Made by Loop, and in this video I'm going to run through how to install After Effects presets. For this example, I'm going to use the Loop Skylights Deluxe filter presets to illustrate where to place the files on your system. Much like After Effects scripts, presets need to be placed into a specific folder for After Effects to recognise them. So let's jump into it. If you're on Windows, the location is Documents, Adobe, the version of After Effects you're using, so in this example I'm using 2019, so the folder is After Effects CC 2019, and User Presets. Depending on your version of Windows, this will either be Documents or My Documents. On a Mac, this folder is in the same place, so it'll be Documents, Adobe, Adobe CC with your version number, and then User Presets. So with the correct location open, I'm going to drag and drop the entire Skylights Deluxe folder containing the presets into the User Presets folder. Now, I could go into this folder and put all of these preset files directly into the User Presets folder, but keeping them in the Skylights Deluxe folder comes with an added advantage which I'll come to in a moment. So now we have the Skylights Deluxe folder sitting inside the User Presets folder. And inside the Skylights Deluxe folder, we have the actual preset files here, which are the .ffx files that After Effects will recognise. If we then come into After Effects, presets live up here within the Effects and Presets panel. And User Presets live inside this menu option right at the top, the little asterisks and Animation Presets. And inside that, we have the User Presets folder. But oh no, our presets aren't showing up here yet. And that's because we have to do one last step. Up here in the top right hand corner of the panel is the panel menu. If we click that and scroll right to the bottom of the menu, we have this option here, Refresh List. Clicking this basically tells After Effects to look for any changes in the preset folder. So there we are, the list is updated. And if we go back into the User Preset folder, we can now see our Skylights Deluxe menu option here. Twirl this down, and there we have our lovely presets. You can see now why I've kept the presets inside the Skylights Deluxe folder, because it gives you this nice hierarchy and organisation in this list. If I'd have placed all of these presets directly in the User Preset folder, then we'd have a big long list of random preset names, which wouldn't be much good, you wouldn't know which preset was which. This way you can organise your presets quite nicely, and you can see that I've got the loop staple presets up here too, which are text animation presets, and this keeps them all organised. So some common problems that you might face when installing presets. If you followed these steps and the presets still aren't showing, then first of all double check you've placed the presets in the folder for your version of After Effects that you're using. I still do this all the time, so if you're using After Effects CC20 for example, then make sure your presets are in the 2020 user presets folder. If you're using 2019, then it will be in the 2019 folder, and so on and so forth. It's such a simple error, but honestly it is one that I make all the time. Another issue is that presets aren't backwards compatible, so if you're trying to install a preset that was exported from After Effects CC 2020, but you're only using the 2015 version of After Effects, then this won't work unfortunately. You'll need to update to the latest version of After Effects for the preset to show up. Presets are forward compatible though, so if you have a preset exported from CC 2015, it should work in After Effects CC 2020. It is worth noting that much older presets may not work quite as well on later versions, especially if they make use of older effects that have become obsolete. So there we are, that's how to install After Effects presets. If you like this video, as ever, do hit like and subscribe, and check out madebyloop.co.uk for more motion design resources.